Hey guys, this is Wes and welcome to your 26th Java tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to create an array table to show you guys visually the index and in the array. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to create an array, uh, a header for our table. We're going to use the print line function and we are going to say uh, index backslash t value. And what this is going to do is this is just going to be, I know I haven't went over the backslash T, but all that does is create a tab. So if I ran this, um, I'll show you guys, this is what it, it prints out, index, and then a tab, and then value, as you can see up here. Um, then we create array. I'm using the same one as we used in the previous tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen that tutorial, um, you might want to to understand this one by using for loops and stuff but if if you have well let's keep going um, we're gonna create a, a for loop to loop through each index of our array so we're gonna say for int counter is equal to zero we're going to say counter is less than my array dot length and then we're going to increment it by one. So we're going to say counter plus plus. Inside of here, we're just going to do another print line statement. So system dot out dot print line. And we're going to display counter plus backslash tab to make it in line with our header up here plus my array counter and uh, this might be kind of confusing I'm gonna run it and show you what it does and then I'm gonna explain it more thoroughly so let's run this and as you can see index value and uh, all our indexes and values right here so we created a header which that shouldn't be too complicated that you should guys should uh, be able to get that pretty easy. We created an array. Um, it can be of any length. We created. We went over for loops. If you don't understand for loops, I'm not going to go over them in this video. But watch uh, some of my previous tutorials, and you will uh, should be able to understand them pretty pretty quickly. So we created a counter that equals zero. Counter is going to be equal to our index. It's going to be basically the same exact thing. Because counter is zero, once it test tests this condition and it is less than my array dot length, which my array dot length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Since it is less than seven, it just goes in here and it prints out zero right here. A tab. As you can see, there's a big tab in between here. And then my array and then counter is zero. So my array zero is twelve. And then it prints out twelve. And then it just keeps doing that until the uh, this condition is met right here. My rate at length is seven, so or less than seven. So once it gets to six and it adds one right here and it's seven and it rechecks this condition, it is seven and it quits executing uh, the for statement. If we went outside of here, and this should uh, show you guys a little bit better or make it a little bit easier. Um, Got to make sure the uh, this is with inside of our method. <laughs> Didn't do that. So this is basically the, this part of the uh, the loop. It's counter is zero all the way through six because of this condition. My array dot length or counter is less than seven. So as it gets to six, you can see right here counter is zero. If we ran this right here, it would be the same exact thing. So as you can see here, 12, 22, 33, 44, 12, 99, 88. That's the exact same thing as our value right here. That's all that this part is. Counter is used to loop through our for loop and used as part of our uh, array index. So that's a, a simple table just to be able to help you guys visually see an index and a counter side by side. So. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in future videos.